What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today we finally have confirmation of the next content drop for Destiny 1 as well as some Destiny 2 news. But before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like is much, much appreciated. Can we reach 4,000 likes? That'd be absolutely epic if we could. Now yesterday Bungie dropped a weekly update. In that weekly update that they said tomorrow, which is today, that they will drop news on the next content drop for destiny 1 and also give us a little bit of speckle information on destiny 2 and that's what has just dropped now i will read through the whole thing but if you guys do want to check it out for yourselves i will link it in the video description but getting straight into it and it starts with the road ahead hey everyone we're planning to reveal the final live event for Destiny 1 era next Wednesday. We're calling it Age of Triumph and we intend for it to be a fun and memorable celebration that will bring the first major chapter of our Destiny adventures to a fitting close. We we'll look back upon three incredible years we've shared as a community and look ahead to some final challenges and rewards that await you in the weeks ahead. But first we want to answer some important questions you've been asking about Destiny's first full sequel destiny more fucking two information sequels represent the start of a new adventure for every player with new worlds to explore new stories to tell new powers to acquire new loot to earn and much more this led us to a decision that would enable us to serve both the game and the player's best interests. Destiny 1 power, possessions and eververse related items and currency will not carry forward. They will however remain accessible for you in Destiny 1. Now just cutting it straight there a second, um, I'll get back to this in a quick minute. Um, but they blatantly say here Destiny 1 power, possessions and eververse related items and currently will not carry forward so this is basically going to be a fresh start uh, loot wise of what you have from your character from Destiny 1 when you move forward to Destiny 2 okay so getting straight back into it we know that just like us you have grown fond of the guardians you've created so we do plan to preserve your character personalization we're going to recognize the dedication and passion you've shown for this world Specifically the class, race, gender, face, hair and marking selections for all characters that you have achieved at level 20 and completed the Black Garden story mission will carry forward. We also plan to award those veteran accounts with honours that reflect your Destiny 1 accomplishments. So basically if you completed the story, if you completed that Black Garden story mission, um, your character, uh, i.e. its race, its gender, its face, its hair, its marking selections will carry on into Destiny 2. Now to be honest I don't know what I think about that. I mean like, I mean I'd want my loot to follow forward but still um, I'm quite happy to have a fresh start as well. I just, I'm, I'm twisted like I go left, like I go right, I just don't know. Okay so getting back into it. We believe this is the best path forward. It allows us to introduce the major advancements and improvements that all of us expect from a sequel. Ensuring it will be the best game we can create. Unencumbered by the past. We're looking forward to sharing more details with you later this year. For how we will honour your legacy in the future. Before we do that we're going to deliver the Age of Triumph at the end of March. To show you what it's all about, we're planning a series of live stream showcases. We'll be reintroducing you to some members of the live team and we'll be showing you content and activity updates that we've been working on. The dates and times are listed below. We are kicking things off next week with the Age of Triumph reveal, Wednesday the 8th of March. Now straight away this picture screams, it's the Vault of Glass door. This is the main Vault of Glass door. Blatantly confirmed, the Vault of Glass is going to return, it's just why would they show this picture? Shit, I'm hyped. Shit, I'm fucking hyped. Okay, so next up we have the Age of Triumph Weekly Rituals, Wednesday, March 15th. Here we can see the Raid icon, the Prison of Elders icon, Nightfall icon, and so forth. I'm just, I'm absolutely certain now that at least the Vortal Glass is coming back. I'm not sure about Crota's End, but I'm pretty certain that Vortal Glass is coming back. Uh, the next one we have the Age of Triumph Sandbox update which will come Wednesday the 22nd of March. Now this straight up here, this is a hunter standing in the Vault of Glass. I mean it's quite difficult to see the gear he's got on but I don't know whether that's new gear or not. But it looks pretty damn fresh but that to me screams Vault of Glass. I mean I could be tripping, I mean I might be tripping, I mean I'm proper hyped so I could be jumping to conclusions but to me... That looks like the Vault of Glass, that setting, that background looks like the Vault of Glass, 100%. So does it confirm it that the Vault of Glass will be making a return 
that is just like the best news ever. I mean, like I said yesterday in my video that I would like to see a whole new set of like weapons, vendor weapons and arms and shit. But I would also like to see the water glass return. I mean, it was just the best. It's got, come on, apart from the latest raid, it's just the best raid ever. I mean, it was just so badass. And I'm so pumped to see if it does return. So next week, um, the 8th of March, which is next Wednesday, we will see. There's no actual time here. Um, it doesn't stay at time, but I'm guessing it will be about this time. They will do a live stream revealing what this motherfucking shit is all about. And I'm pretty much confirmed. I'm pretty much guarantee you guys, it's got to be the Vault Glass. I mean, if it ain't, I'll eat my shorts. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the Vault Glass is motherfucking returning. Hype! I'm so fucking hyped. I can't believe it. But guys, um, that is it. A little bit of Destiny 2 information. A little bit of information on what's coming next for us Destiny 1 players, which I can't wait for. If anything else drops, you guys will know I have you covered right here on my channel. So subscribe if you're new here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me what you think about this down below in that comment section. Are you guys hope for the water glass return? I know I fucking am. Thanks for stopping by as always, and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right, left in the dark.